Our trip to the Danakil Depression was booked in Addis Ababa with ETT Travel Company. In the past, they'd had some bad reports, but we were well satisfied. The vehicles were almost new, the tyres were good, the food was excellent and there was plenty of it, and all the staff were always friendly and helpful. All in all, it was very good value for money. The road down from Mekele into the Depression runs through a landscape shaped by repeated volcanic eruptions. It pays not to be shy, this is a P-stop on the way to Outer Ali Volcano. After a long walk up by night, alas, this is all you can see at the moment. No glowing lava, just a single volcanic vent. In some ways, perhaps the dawn was more spectacular than the volcano. With the growing light, the smoke around the vent was now visible. It was extremely acrid, and you had to be careful not to breathe too much of it. The next few shots indicate the kind of terrain that we had to walk over at night. We'd had a few hours sleep out in the open under the stars, but luckily we didn't have to carry our bedding back. That's a job for the camels. Because of the repeated eruptions, there's not much vegetation, mainly this tough grass. and a few small trees, some of which had birds in. The camels came to the rescue for anybody who was having problems in walking. When we got back to camp, a really good breakfast was waiting for us. Later in the day, lunch was taken at a local restaurant, but had been cooked by the ETT chef. Few restaurants in Britain have goats roaming around, finishing off the scraps from the plates. <laughs> Next day saw us speeding across the salt flats to Dalol. Here lies one of the most spectacular landscapes on the planet. To reach the best places you have to walk, starting early in the morning because of the heat. That's our guide up ahead. This whole area lies about 116 metres below sea level. As you will now see, it's truly one of the wonders of the world. Okay. Wow. Apart from us, this solitary dragonfly was the only living thing visible. Then, with the heat rapidly building, it was time to go back to the cars. This is Catherine and Michael from Canberra, Australia. They were sharing my vehicle. Okay. 
Not too much further on, we stopped at this boiling lake. This was the final thing that I decided I wanted to film on this part of the trip.